Okay, so we're going to start once again. I'm going to try to show you how to download the PQ method software in case you haven't done that already. Usually what I do is I start off by going to the qmethod.org webpage and that's where we are right now. We see a picture of um, of William Stevenson and if we go over here to uh, what's called links we can click on that and we see right here that we have right download PQ method and it tells you what it's going to do. You can go there to download a copy of PQ method. It's our free software. It includes the PQ method manual um, at that same uh, page so we can click there and we are at Peter Schmalk's website for PQ method. It tells you a little bit uh, about the software on this web page including the fact that it was originally developed by John Atkinson at Kent State. It was on a mainframe computer and then um, it was imported to PCs by DOS, as a DOS based program and Peter Schmalk who's in Germany actually maintains this website now. <clears throat> And so if we go, we can see that we can download uh, PQ method for Windows users. The release date is December 30th, 2011. Or we can do the same for Mac users. I'm a PC user, so I'll be downloading the Windows version. If we come down a little farther on this same page, um, we see that we can download the source code. Um, I've thought for years about doing that and working on making a Windows based program but haven't gotten there. We see that there are some other software packages. Uh, Quanal is mentioned here. Uh, Norm Van Tubergen's Quanal is a Fortran program. It was also a mainframe program. For years it resided on a mainframe at the University of Akron until it was discontinued. Norm has worked on having a Windows based program. It is not released or anything like that. PCQ for Windows is Mike Strickland and his son Woods. Um, they have a commercial uh, Q methodology software. It's not free. Uh, I think it's about $500. And then he, uh, Peter mentions, you know, other statistical softwares like SPSS. Those kinds of software are not recommended for Q methodology. Um, certainly you can do all of the factor analysis and determine the factors but you can't do that more qualitative part where we have more descriptive aspects of the factors so and then and then Peter has some other information listed here including uh, some archive things some other resources a lot of these resources are actually also available on the Q methodology website so we're going to go to download page for Windows users since, like I mentioned, I'm a Windows user. If we go there, it tells you something about a uh, software called DOSBox. This allows um, more current Windows-based uh, computers to run DOS programs on them. If you download uh, PQ method for the Macintosh, for the Mac, you'll also have to download DOS box so and it's very easy to use um, Peter again details things including how to install the software and running the software and some additional information uh, regarding DOS box I always say the key is not to psych yourself out it's really not that hard right we're going to download and I'll point out here's the most current version of PQ manual it's the manual for using PQ method. It walks you through a lot of the different aspects. It tells you how certain things are calculated um, and it, it it comes basically with this zipped file. So you notice that Peter gives us instructions about downloading and unzipping this file and then drag and drop the, the PQ method folder to your C drive. Right? And it could be somewhere else. Sometimes they talk about having it on a, on a flash drive Right, one of those little sticks, but I don't do that. <clears throat> I run it on my on my laptop. So if we click on this, we have the options of opening, save, and save as. I usually go to save as, and I would go to my desktop, and I would save it right here. It'll save it as a folder, and then you can just expand that. 